hello guys you're yeah, welcome back to the channel my name is Nelo today I'm going to show you how to cut and sew this pencil dress it's not really pencil it's a little bit free downward because it has no slit okay so it has this collar and also a pocket all right so it's not too pencil because it's there is no slit on it okay so i can work freely all right so if you're new to this channel and you've not subscribed please consider subscribing turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload new video like and share my video tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and also watch check out my other videos all right okay so i'm making use of this ankara fabric and um it's two yards of fabric in short it's two and a half because of the sleeve but what i place here is two yards and it's unfold the front and the back okay so and for the back i added one inch for zipper allowance okay so here is one inch for my zipper allowance all right so we'll be cutting the front and the back together and then the full length of the dress i'm making is um 43 okay so it's 41 plus 2 inch for uh, folding allowance making it 43 okay so the first thing i'm going to do now is to mark my shoulder measurements my shoulder divided by 2 shoulder 16 divided by 2 is 8 okay so i just use pin to secure so that it will not shift so you start measuring from the front panel not from the zip allowance you added okay so i'm going to mark my 8 inches now all right don't measure from the zipper allowance you start measuring from the eight inches okay so now i'm going to mark my bust point bust line which is 11 and then my half length which is waistline 17 <coughs> and then i'm going to connect them with a straight line like so all right so i'm going to draw a straight line there so from the waistline i'm going to mark nine inches downward which says serves as my hip line if you're not tall you can use eight inches but i'm a very tall person so i use nine inches okay so you can use eight for your hip line and then the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the neckline the neck width i'm making use of is three inches okay so i mark 2.5 then i went back to mark another half inch okay i decided to use three inches for the neck width and then 2.5 for the neck depth for the front and then one inch for the back neck depth okay so i'm marking one inch for the back and 2.5 for the front okay so i'm going to connect them like so so this is for the back and that's for the front okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my armhole okay okay so i'm just kind of cross checking all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my armhole which is nine inches okay 18 divided by two is nine so i'm making use of nine for my armhole so i'm going to connect it up to the shoulder like so and then on that shoulder line the armhole line, i'm going to get the midpoint of it all right and then i'll go in by half an inch for the front armhole so before then i'm going to slant my shoulder by half an inch okay and then i'll connect like so so before i could curve my armhole i need to take my bust circumference okay divide by four so the quarter of my bust i'll be putting the quarter of my bust here okay plus half um two inches sewing allowance okay so i'll do the same here my bust circumference plus two inches for sewing allowance and then here i'll be marking my the quarter of my waist plus two inches sewing allowance you can use less than two inches but i prefer using two inches you know i'm still you know so when i get fat i will now kind of reduce it i mean increase it okay so for the hip i'll be putting the quarter of my hip plus 
two inches sewing allowance you can use one you can use one and a half you can use even 2.5 depending on your preference all right so now i'm going to connect the lines so i'm connecting like so so from this waistline see eh, what i marked earlier was um uh, uh, a line i wanted to make it a line but i changed my mind i decided to make it pencil okay so i actually marked a line so why i'm still showing you this is for you to understand because when i'll start cutting it again the down part you'll be like ah this woman i've cut this thing before and now she's cutting again so this is what i cut earlier like an a-line shape and then i'll be cutting it out okay so if you're making a line it's gonna be like this you just connect straight all right so i'm going to cut so here i realize i've not covered my armhole so i stopped so what i'm going to do now is to connect my armhole so i'm going to connect my armhole like so So I'm going to curve my armhole like this. Sorry guys, I was explaining something to somebody that was there. So I'm going to curve like this. And then I'll also curve the... This is for the front. And now I'm going to curve the back armhole. Like so. Okay. So I'm going to cut. Cut, cut, cut. So first of all, I'm cutting the back armhole. All right. So now I'm going to go for the front and the neckline. So I'll cut the back neckline first of all, like so. And then I'll now cut the front like this. And then I'll now curve, I mean, cut um, the shoulder slant okay and then i'll now cut the front armhole too okay all right so now i'm going to open the zipper area you know it's on fold so i'm going to open it up and then guys i graded my back the back of my zip so sorry i did not show you guys that but if you want to learn how to grade your bag check out my um basic pattern basic bodies pattern tutorial okay you will now see how to eliminate zip bulgeness at the back of your dress okay so guys i'm back again i want to cut the down part i want to make it pencil or straight instead of um a line shape so what i'm going to do here is whatever i add um, whatever hip measurement I have, I'm going to use that downward, okay? Even though the airline shape I cut wasn't that much, I've already cut it out already. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I cut it, all right? So I just mark my hip circumference divided by four on the edge of the dress, okay? The same measurement i use on my hip is what i use down here okay so i'm just going to cut it straight like that and because it's not going to have slit that's why i did not pencil it very well okay so i can work freely on it all right so i'm cutting it out so after this i'm going to go and join the shoulders together and also fix my back zip and then i'll be back so guys i have fixed the back zip as you can see and i've also joined the two shoulders together okay 
So what I'm going to do next now is to measure my neck circumference so I can cut my collar. So I start from one edge of the zip side and then I'll measure around to the other end of the zip like so. So what I have here is 18 inches. All right. So I'll be using 18 inches to cut my um um what is it called cola and this is my sleeve please check out my basic sleeve tutorial to learn how to cut your sleeve okay it's two pieces there and this is my pocket so i mark seven inches like so and then i place my hand and trace okay place my hand and trace it okay so this is the material i'm going to be using for the cola all right so guys i did not um use hair stay or any gum stay on it so if you have gum stay please iron gum stay on it so it will be firm okay so i actually make this dress during a uh, coffee so so what i have here is four inches width is on fold when you open it up it's eight inches okay so it's on fold like so so it's eight inches width and then on fold and then the length is 14 inches okay and it's two pieces okay for the left hand side and the right hand side okay so it's 14 inches long okay so i'm gonna fold them like so all right and i'll fold this one too like this okay and then i'll place them on each other like this okay so now i'm going to divide 18 inches divide by four so what I'll have is 4.5, right? So because the fabric is on fold into four, it's four, it's four that I folded there. So I'll divide 18 inches. And what I got for my next circumference was 18 inches. So 18 inches divided by four, what I'll have is 4.5 here. So I added half inch for sewing allowance, making it five inches, okay? So the half inch makes it five inches so from there i'm going to connect to that edge okay guys you can use um 13 inches length if you want but me i use 14 okay for the length of the collar okay so i connected it to that edge and here i'm going to go in by half an inch i'll connect it down to that other point okay just to the edge like this don't connect don't mark half inch up to that side okay then i'll cut just to give it a little bit curve that part that's why i went in by half an inch okay so this is what we have after cutting so what i'm going to do now is to sew here and here and here okay and then i'll do the same on the other side too all right so and for the pocket this is my waistline okay so i'm gonna place this like so for my waistline then i'm gonna sew like this flip it over and top stitch on the pocket okay so i'm gonna place them right side to right side on the right side okay so guys i have sewn the collar like i said before i did not iron any stay on it please do use stay so that it look firm and better okay so i don't have one available because i make this dress during coffee when we are having issues in this country nigeria so i just sew it like that because i needed to use the dress and then um i have torn it inside out already so now i'm gonna show you how to sew it so you get the midpoint of your front dress okay so i'm going to start from the midpoint of the dress to put to pin my collar all right so you are going to be pinning on the wrong side of the dress okay you sew on the wrong side like this you pin like so Okay, up to this um, zip edge, one side of the zip. We're gonna pin there too.
all right so i'm going to sew like so down that is how you are going to be sewing it all right remember i said you're going to sew on the wrong side then you flip it over to the right side okay so you sew on the wrong side so i'm going to place this like this too the second one like so and do the same thing i did on the other one all right okay so when you're sewing and you notice it's too long you can still just kind of adjust it so now i'm going to join the dress okay so i'm gonna sew from my armhole i'm going to sew like so from the armhole down to the pocket and out and down again with the sewing allowance i added okay down all right and that will be all and then i also hem the down part okay and that will be all for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching thanks for your support thanks for your love thanks for the like thanks for everything please if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button like and share my video turn on your notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload new video please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe one love see you in my next video thank you guys so much bye